Okay. Wow. It's been a crazy day. Um, I had a friend reach out to me and they wanted me to help them with their channel. I said, I need you to allow me access to your channel. And they said, well, how do you do that? I said, I'd go out and look for a tutorial that explains how to set up a manager for your channel or to give someone else access to your channel so they can help you. And I looked around, I couldn't find anything. So here we are, I'm making a video <laughs> once again. So upon logging into your channel, click your channel icon in the upper right-hand corner and select YouTube Studio. We want to go into settings, but you don't want to select the settings in this men menu initially. You need to go first into the YouTube Studio and then on the left, select settings. Okay, upon doing that, you want to select permissions and here we go. Click the invite button in the upper right-hand corner and you need to submit the email address of the channel manager that you're going to give access to. This email address cannot be some random email address. It has to be tied to their specific Gmail or Google account, okay? Very important. Now let's talk about the access levels. If you select manager, this person will have the ability to add other people to gain access to your channel. And if someone approaches you and says, hey, I need manager access, you must ask them why. You need to have them explain why they need that level of control. This is God level control. This is like having, having a second, second you taking control of your channel. They can do everything from deleting videos to deleting everything. So make sure you, they explain why they need that level of access, okay? The editor access is one level down. They can go live, they can create and edit content, content, but they cannot add new people to your channel. So in most cases, the editor selection would be the best. Editor limited only means that they can't look at your revenue analytics, okay? That's the only difference between the two. Viewer can simply only view stuff, okay? In the editor selector, they can go and modify your thumbnails, they can you know, go in and cut up a video and take out the stuff that's not needed, all that stuff. A viewer can't do that. And then the difference between viewer and viewer limited is simply that they can't look at your revenue information, okay? So in most cases, nine times out of 10, the best selection for, for permission is editor over manager, in my opinion. If they're asking for manager, you got to have them explain why, because you need to know why they need to be God <laughs> for your channel. If you don't know who I am, I talk about live stream technology, namely OBS Studio. I just made two cool videos, one on how to add a analog clock to your live stream, and the other one is how to put your face inside of a television. You'll absolutely love it. Best wishes to you. Stay strong and keep fighting.